we at now is we in the basement. In there. This is where they were storing the books and supplies. Little empty closet there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep stepping here. I got my lights on here. Old bench. Another abandoned room. Like somebody tried to break the glass out. Another storage closet there. But it's very interesting. As I think about these old schools, of how now, you know, um, all the public schools are closing down or being shut down, and now they want to open up all these damn academies just because you got academy in front of the name does not necessarily mean that it's a good school to go to. I think, personally, a lot of the problems could have been fixed if they would have just did the right thing. Now, the right thing is up for debate. We make our way around here. Like I said, you gotta do it like a SWAT officer. You gotta go room by room. And as I said before, as I stated before, I would like everyone to, I would like for y'all to forgive me because I don't know the name of this school. I know it's been sitting here empty for the last few years, and um, I was kind of hesitant about, you know, um, coming through doing a video exploration. Exploration, excuse me. Another empty room there. Couch. And we back out like by the courtyard. And we see where the dogs didn't been through here. Stray dogs. You know, one of the hazards of being um, an urban explorer. I don't know what this shit is, but. Oh, this is like the auditorium. Again, more fire hazards and crap like that. It just amazes me of all the stuff that's that could have been possibly donated to some organization. You know, one of the things that trips me out too about a lot of these old buildings. Is how a lot of the buildings are being used for illegal activity. Let me go way around here. A lot of old papers and stuff, old records, I guess. Go 
back around here. It's a nice um bottom for a shop vac. The only thing you need is the top half. See shit like that right there that kind of pisses me off. Toilet paper. Or either um hand wipe or whatever they call it. Let's see what's step out here in the courtyard. You know, as I stated before, once again, too, I gotta thank everyone who has uh, watched my videos. And the other thing I wanna let everyone know the, the name of Brother I Am, I am I'm not using the name Brother I Am Broke anymore. I'm going by the 3D Man, Dynamite Deck Davidson. And I guess this was the auditorium. This came from outside there. And this is the boiler room. Or what was the remainder of the boiler room. cast iron there. Go up these steps here. And this is amazing. Let me look around here. All the cast iron. And I thank God that they didn't pull too much of the asbestos down. Talking about the wrap around the pipes. Yep, so I'm just coming out of this building here. Managed to do what I do best, bust on out after doing this exploration. I mean, this um, video exploration, excuse me. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go around the outside and take a look around. Here we are, once again, outside, brothers and sisters, on the, on the beast, beast side of um, this school here. And as I stated before, please forgive me. I don't know the name of the school, and that's pretty unique there, the, um, the graffiti that's on the wall, which has been up there for the last couple of years. You know, as we make our way around here on the outside, you know, one of the things that I think about, too, when it comes to going through these old schools, I think about a lot of the dynamics the uh, social dynamics that was um, played out in a lot of these public schools which are now abandoned and this is one of the areas that we just came through here there's that old red container from a shop vac um, I think about the dynamics the male and female social dynamics I also think about the dynamics of race I also think about other things and that's them dogs right there I 
I was gonna go on the playground, but I don't know about that now. Them dogs look mean too. Oh shit. <laughs> I thought they was coming after me, but they up there playing. Well, I guess I have to get that at another date. I'm a brave man, but I ain't that brave to take on three full hungry ass dogs. I guess I'll go somewhere else. 